Hello everyone, welcome to another another Yeah well, that was a screw up. Hello everyone, welcome to another Minecraft video. And today we shall Who's we? Hello everyone and welcome to another Minecraft video. And today I shall be showing you this new design I have made, which is basically a radio with controllable volume. Now um I'm not sure how well this is going to turn out on um, camera, because my sound, yeah, I'm not sure how well the sound will be recorded, and because the volume is actually quite slight, there is th th there is a definite dis uh, difference if you're listening, like from here, but if you're like in front of my computer and speaker and stuff, but obviously you're not, you're hearing this through my headphones, which are recording, so um... Um, microphone. What am I doing? Microphone, which is recording, and I'm not sure if we'll be able to hear it or not. I'll just turn up my volume a bit, just to hopefully make sure you can hear this. Um, yeah, I should test this. Uh, do you think that's good enough? I don't know. Okay. Um. Anyway. Um. So here's the redstone behind it. Yeah, there's a brief, brief glimpse. This part here is a sequential counter by Seth Bling. Um, and yeah, I'm going to give credit to it. I actually found another one by another person, but it didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. So yeah. So here we have a dial, and this also involves a pretty neat looking dial. I'm not sure if these signs will work. Um, yeah, I don't think they'll work. Screw these signs. Screw them all. Anyway, um, as you may have remembered, this is zero. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like that. Um, so basically, this is the volume control as a dial, because I just felt like making a dial. Um, this is probably going to be the main part, not that much of the volume control. But yeah, so here we go. First of all, we want to do is, um, this isn't a radio because you can. Uh, I don't know. Fine, let's, we'll call it a radio because it's got these two subwoofers. What? I I don't care. Okay. Okay. Right now you see it's on zero, which is minimum volume, and there's not a single noise as far as you can tell. I don't think. Yeah, you got these flashy lights and stuff. Um, I actually intended for them to just stay on because of the T flip flop, but it actually got attached to my timer. I can fix that really easily if I just put a diode somewhere like um oh, screw it, I don't care. Um <clears throat> okay. Now when I press this button, th this red thing is gonna come down and it will become and you'll be able to hear the first softness of the note blocks. I'm not sure how well you can hear that, but there is definitely a note block, a soft one, in my place. Um, as you can see, this um, this is actually quite cool, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Okay, we'll press this again and see if it gets louder. Yeah, I can definitely hear it getting louder. I'm not sure about you, <clears throat> but yeah, um, we'll keep going. Louder. And max volume. Okay, that's max volume. It's pretty loud. Um... And then when I press it again, it'll turn off. Okay, there's the sound again. And I can just turn off the radio, and it will remember where this is. Um, so let's go through the redstone, I guess, because this is pretty cool. Um, let's see here. Um, I actually tried to get a doorway in here because I thought it would be cool. 
um, like you can no clip through blocks that are getting pushed by pistons. That didn't completely turn out as I planned. I'll show you. Because apparently I cannot get through this. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's not really gonna let me through. Well, yeah, whatever. Um, so anyway, here is the redstone behind it. So, um, the button, I believe, is linked to that. And if I go through my redstone doorway, you might actually get a chance to see it. No, no, no. Anyway, um, yeah. So, this button leads to this repeater, which goes to this redstone and that redstone above. Okay, basically what these this redstone is going to do is... It's gonna go to all these pistons, which are gonna push push these four pistons out. Uh, I'll show you. Okay. Um. All right. And then, so this goes up here. Um. This also goes to that one and that one by going here. This one. And then the bottom one by going here, fence gate. Um, what this also goes to is my pulse emitter, and which will go and like attach to all the four pistons, which are going to be there, 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 and there when they push out. So, um, what's gonna happen is that. It's gonna pulse them at this, and then it'll lead to the four uh, piston spots. So, as you can see here, when it's pushed out, the piston will be here. So, uh, this block will, like, the rest of it will go into this block and power this piston right here. Um, same goes for all the others, I don't really need to have to show it. Um, I might actually get a world download for this in case you want it. Uh, um, yeah, I don't know why I keep going on unrelated topics. Anyway, um, two ticks later, it leads to others, and there's all the delays you need. This one is six ticks, this one is four ticks, because these two count. And yeah, so, also, the pulse limiter will, not the pulse limiter, the bone will extend to this wire you may have noticed. And goes into Seth Bling's um, sequential counter design. Now I'm just gonna remember that this my cart is there, so I can reset it later. But um, basically, what it does is that when I press this button, okay, this my cart's gonna reset to the top. And I press it again; it's gonna go down. If you want more details, you can just go to Seth Bling's videos. Okay, I'm going to turn down the volume a bit. Oh crap. Uh, it's getting really noisy now. Um, one more I think. Okay, um, and this will lead to these pistons right here. Now I'm using a technique from FV Disco in which uh, a piston pushing down on top of the note block will disable the note block if it gets powered. So, um, yeah, so right now it's at the bottom. It's like the very last pressure plate. And that's gonna activate nothing right here. That's gonna be the zero volume button. Um, and then when it resets, it's gonna go back up and go onto this pressure plate. Now this is gonna power all of it. Um, and then this will be the, this will be max, this will be minimum volume because all of these will be pushed down and not a single note but will be heard. Then this it will go to this pressure plate, which will stop here now because of the 15 block limit of redstone. And then um, only five of these will be pushing down and one will be on, this one, which will go and play your note repeatedly. Um, also, okay, so we're basically done there. Um, oop, whoopsies. Um, now we'll just go on to this button, it's got really nothing to do with it. 
<clears throat> so this button, um, I had to put like these redstone torches here in a line. So this button had to go underground, and it's somewhere in this maze. Um, it's down there, and I'm going to have to mine my way in. Ugh. These are a nightmare, I swear. Uh, I can mine that. Okay, <clears throat> we're, we're down. Uh, I'm gonna get a torch. Torch, torch, okay. Uh, what can I destroy and what can't I destroy? Okay, I can destroy that. Okay, um, the button is on this block right here, and it's going down, around, up, <sighs> into this T flip flop, a supercharged T flip flop by Efo Slab, and that's going to, in going into this inverter, which is currently stopping the clock. As soon as I toggle the T flip flop, It'll go power, the inverter will turn off, and this clock will turn on, giving repeated note block sounds over and over and over again. Um, also, this will go up here to this redstone torch, and the, this is basically a wide out leads to all the uh, redstone lamps all over, and then, yeah, we'll, and then they get powered. And they're also attached to the clock as well, so that's why they get their flashy light thingy. And yeah, that's about it for this video. I'm going to provide a world download link. And I hope you enjoyed watching.